The programme Before Life and After is something that Nisha Jones and uh, I and Anna Tilbrook have worked on um, to bring these works of music together. And we first performed them in London uh, about 18 months ago, I think, in Wilton's Music Hall. And what she's managed to do is bring together three really quite different English composers, all of whom found composing song very important, Britton, Finzi and Tippett. And we've woven them into a new work, really. Because what we've done is taken these pieces and tried to put them into a narrative. So it reminds me slightly of one of Alan Bennett's talking heads. It's, it's really a stream of consciousness from, from one man. So you'll see me sitting on the stage, as it were, um, a janitor in, a, in a, a disused railway station. And it's clearly my job just to sit there through the lonely hours of the night watching to make sure that the vandals don't come and to look after the place. And what I do to pass the time, really, is read poetry. And in fact, you might think this is a completely ludicrous suggestion, but actually it all came because Nisha met a man just like this, a night watchman who used to read poetry during the night. And obviously, because there's an audience there, I share my thoughts as I sit on the stage with you. And they're also illustrated with um, film that Nisha has made specially for the project, which both illustrates the song, but I, I rather prefer to think of it that the song and the images and the me sitting on the stage are all illustrative of a thought or a feeling that we're trying to convey. And what we do in the course of these three, as I say, quite different pieces of music, is almost run the man's life in reverse, because um, the, the first work we begin with, uh, Winter Words, is, as the title suggests, a sort of old man's look at his own life, and he looks around him and uh, muses on how things perhaps used to be easier for him, and how he used to be more connected with the world, and, and regrets in some ways his loss. And then the Finzi is also poetry of Thomas Hardy, he seems to try to make us ponder our mortality. And the last piece is Tippett's astonishing Boyhood's End. And Tippett has created a work here that bubbles with enthusiasm, almost irrepressibly so. It's so full of notes and life and vigour that it's almost impossible to stand still and to be still and to think still while you're listening to it. You're transported to this other place. and. And of course, what Nisha has done here is, as I say, try to play this man's life in reverse. So that we start with him musing about his mortality, but end with him remembering his childhood. And the colour changes. We start in black and white with uh, wintry images and end in full blazing colour with an astonishing array of uh, exciting and vivid images of the natural world.